Hi, and welcome back to this episode on economics design. This episode will not be in a full episode, instead it will be an update. Because at economics design, we focus very much on fundamentals, and sometimes we get it wrong, and I apologize for this. So this episode will be a very quick update on UST, the algo stablecoin in the Terra network. So as some of you have pointed out earlier already, when I share the stats of UST, the stats were actually wrong. And I agree, and I apologize for that. Now I've recreated the stats and I'll show you what the new stability index or how stable UST is. Again, just quick recap, when we're talking about stability of UST, the algo stablecoin, there are three factors that will affect the stability of UST. The first one is the demand of UST, the second is the value of Luna, and third is the utility of Luna. So we have talked about all three factors in the previous episode, so go check them out. What I want to highlight is the statistics that we have seen. So previously I showed that there is $2 billion in market cap and there's 20K daily transactions. And of all the different days that I've analyzed, only 1% is at that $1 range and everything else is out of peg. A few of you have pointed it out and I agree with you, the numbers were wrong. So a quick update in statistics. When I looked at the peg, within a 5% range, it is actually very, very stable. What does that mean? So when we talk about algo stable coins, what we have over here is we have $1. We want to make sure that UST is packed as close to $1 as possible. But sometimes it's not 1.0000 because machines can read a long list of decimal places. So what we do when we're doing analysis, we do a 5% price range. So when UST is between 95 cents and $1.05, of all the days, if the prices are within this range, it's considered packed. Taking that concept, we basically do a 5% range and USD turns out to be extremely stable. It is always within the pack. So we have the 5% range. Now, if you look at the 3% range, because I want to reduce the range to understand the stability a lot more. In the 3% range, it means that if the coin, if USD is within 97 cents and $1.03, it is considered packed. And in this number, we figure out that 0.6% is out of pack. And given the fact that we have the 5% value, it means that of 0.6% of the time, the prices are either between 95 cents and 97 cents, or between $1.03 and $1.05. What we can do as well is to squeeze it a little bit tighter to look at a 1% price difference. So 99 cents and $1.01. One cent. It's a very small margin of error that prices can go out of. And in this analysis, we realize that only 2% are out of that price range. So by this statistic, the 5%, 3%, and 1% price range, we can see that UST is extremely stable. Contrary to previous analysis that I've given, which was wrong, the correct analysis of the prices up to today, 10th of September, is that it is extremely stable and UST is a very good algo stable coin. And that's great because UST is so important in its application within the entire Terra ecosystem. For example, use it in Anchor, use it in Mirror, use it in other places. So having an algo stable coin that packs to its stability is key. And this price also takes into consideration the March 2020 price volatility, as well as May 2021's price volatility. So that's great. It means that it's working. If you're interested in this, then definitely also go check out Luna, the token itself, because it is the asset that works very well with USD. From there, you can have a bigger picture, a macro picture of how these tokens interact with each other and how robust the economics is. So hopefully that gives you an insight, that gives you an update on the UST, and I'll see you at the next video. Thank you so much for staying throughout this entire video. If you're interested to learn more and you want to join the community, do check out our Discord, check out our Academy, and you get to watch these videos for free as well, without any ads. And also grab the book that I've talked about earlier on. The book summarizes a lot of what we're trying to build, what we're trying to design, and the different aspects that can be changed during the entire design process. We also just launched Econteric. Econteric is really economics plus esoteric because this space is so complicated and so difficult. What we want to do is to make it easier for anyone to come and learn and be part of this system. So in Econteric, we are breaking down the different analytics and different data to give you more insights, to understand the robustness from a very fundamental level of the health of this ecosystem. So check out econteric.com and I'll see you there. Bye.